Hi everyone, in this tutorial I wanted to show you how to create this basic architecture parametric uh, structure with a Blender geometry node system. It's rather simple geometry node setup, but it's uh, very customizable. As you can see, we can easily modify the shape of our roof structure and we can easily modify the pattern to create a different results that will suit our project needs. So without a further ado, let's jump into a new blend file and start our project. Okay, so we'll start by deleting everything from the scene and let's add a simple mesh plane object. Let's under modify tarp add a new modifier, subdivision surface and let's increase the amount of uh, subdivisions to 3. Okay, now we can create the base shape for our structure. So I will just model some sort of roof structure. We can modify it easily later on. Okay, I think this is a good shape for now. So we can rename our object to maybe architecture structure. And let's jump into geometry nodes tab and add new geometry node system. We can rename it for structure. I will shrink this to have a little bit more viewport. And let's start by changing viewport overlays option because it will be really nice to see the wireframe in solid mode. As you can see, we only see the base mesh wireframe because the subdivision surface modifier is set from optimal display. If we turn it off, we can see all lines of our mesh. Okay, let's start by adding first node, which will be extrude mesh node. And this node will just extrude every single face around our object. The node has few functions and we can, for example, turn off the individual option and this is basically work like solidify modifier now. But we actually want the individual option to be turned on. We can control the offset scale, but for our needs, we set that, that for zero because we want to insert the, every face from our mesh. And to do this, we can use node called scale elements. And default is just scale whole thing, but we want to scale only the top of our extrusion. When I plug it in and scale it now, as you can see, we are inserting every face of our, of our mesh. We can set it for something at a half for now. And later on, if you want different result, you can always play with all values of our geometry node tree. And let's just add another node after that, which is called dual mesh node. Let's select keep boundaries. Dual mesh is a little tricky node and what it's essentially doing is converting every single a face of our base geometry to vertices and vertices are turned into faces. So when you keep focus on this face, it now become a single vertices. And it's the same for every single other faces. So like we have four faces here, now we have four vertices. It's uh, real useful for doing stuff like that, like that to create really interesting results. Okay, now we can repeat ourselves and create the extrusion node once again. So let's duplicate by pressing Shift D and plug it after. 
and let's duplicate our k elements again and plug top faces. As you can see now we have really interesting results. But I want to create more triangle form, so let's set the scale to zero. And now we have something like that. If we go back to our scale elements, our first scale elements, we can still modify it. And that will give us different results. But I will, I will leave it around a half for now. Now I would like to create some holes in this geometry because if I turn off the wireframe, it's still solid surface without any hole and will not look very interesting as a roof structure. So let's uh, turn on the wireframe again. And now I just would like to create some sort of wireframe in our geometry. So I would basically want to create an inset face if every our face and delete the middle face to create the transparent sort of structure and to do this we can just duplicate our two nodes once again plug it in and scale it something like that. Now we can delete these faces in the middle and to do this we just use the top selection from our extrude mesh and the node called delete. Let's plug a top selection and as you can see now it deletes every single face and this is because it deletes points and we want to delete only faces. Now we have nice transparent structure. We can turn off the wireframe overlay and with this slider we, we control the thickness of our structure. Now it would be nice to add some thickness to this uh, thing. So let's just create something like solidify modifier in our geometry node system. So let's duplicate the extrude node and let's increase the offset scale to create some sort of thickness. As you can see, we have faces inside of our mesh, which is not really nice. So let's turn off the individual option. And now we have second issue. This is not uh, flat as it should be, it's some sort of distort geometry. And this is because when we scale elements to scale zero, what we're actually doing is stacking eight vertices into a single place, which is eight vertices on top of each other. And it's not uh, nice to have uh, overlapping geometry. So what we can do before our extrusion to adding fitness at another node that is called merge by distance. And as you can see, it immediately fix our issue. I can mute this node by pressing M key. And as you can see, this was the source of our problem. So now we can close the geometry from the other side to not, not have yeah, empty inside visible from the bottom of structure and to do this we can use the join geometry node and to just join the geometry before extrusion to our extrude geometry and now everything is closed but we will have the issue that will pop up in shading if you turn off the face orientation, you can see the bottom part is red and the top part is blue, which means that these faces are pointing in the right direction and this is the wrong direction. So to do this, to fix this, we can use the flip face node, flip faces, and it just flip the this part of geometry. 
And the last things we can do in our geometry node setup is merge again geometry by distance because when we added these faces to this geometry, as you can see, these vertices are overlapping. So to fix this, let's just duplicate the merge by distance node by pressing Shift D and put it after join geometry. And this is pretty much all our setup. You can of course play with this value like scale to create different results. You can even change the offset scale in our extrude mesh to create three-dimensional pattern. And also you can add more nodes to create more complex or different results. Now we can play with the shape of our structure. And as you can see, it's pretty dynamic solution. We can easily modify the shape, extrude some part to create bigger structure. And even if you would like to create some sort of column inside of our roof structure, we can just select single vertices press Ctrl B and under bevel option we can select the vertices to create this additional face and let's extrude it down and scale and when we turn off the modifiers now we have this parametric column inside of our geometry. We can add additional loop to create more grounded version. Okay, so that will be it. Thank you so much for watching and see you again soon. Bye!